It's been less than a week since Attorney General Ken Paxton was acquitted by the Texas Senate on all 16 charges, articles, excuse me, of impeachment, including accusations of bribery and corruption. Now he is speaking out for the first time in a sit-down interview with former Fox TV host Tucker Carlson. Chris Sadegui with us right now in the studio to break that down. So Chris Paxton took aim at several Democrats and Republicans. Oh, yes, Kara. And even before he was acquitted, Paxton said that he would be doing this interview with Tucker Carlson, and he used it to go on the attack blaming Texas Republicans of working with the Biden administration, criticizing Senator John Cornyn. And here's what he had to say about Texas House Speaker Dade Phelan. I think it's more about power for him. He, I don't think he particularly has an ideology. I yeah. think his is like, I want to stay in power. I've cut this deal to be speaker with the Democrats. I have to deliver. The Biden administration goes to the Democrats. I don't think they. I don't think the Biden administration went to Phelan. I think they went, he went, to the, they went to the Democrats. And the Democrats said, this is what we want. We want him out. Paxton said his lawsuits against the Biden administration policies were the motivation for Democrats to get him out of office and accuses Texas Republicans of working to make it happen. The interview aired on X, the website formerly known as Twitter. Paxton also laid blame for his impeachment at the feet of prominent Republicans like Karl Rove and the Bush family. Then he began attacking the job longtime U.S. Senator John Cornyn is doing in Washington and hinted that maybe he would try to unseat him. He's Why don't you doing, run against him? Hey, look, everything's on the table for me. Now, now that I've been through this and I've seen how guys like John Cornyn are, have, have represented the state of Texas and not represented us, I think it's time somebody needs to step up and run against this guy that will do the job and do it the right way and represent us and worry about what, what's going on at the border. He called Cornyn a puppet for the Bush family, so his overall message was obvious. He accuses Cornyn and Karl Rove of creating a civil war with the, within the Republican Party, but also claims it's all coming from the very top with the Biden administration. So aside from his impeachment, did he have anything to say about his future? Well, he talked about how this whole process really re-energized him, that he's anxious to get back to work since his suspension. He's had time to think about what he also wants to do. He also took time, aside from everything, to repeat President Donald Trump's claims that the 2020 election was stolen. All right. Thank you, Chris. Okay.